In this video, we're going to discuss special sequences. Now, special sequences do not actually match actual characters in the string, but what they do do is tell the system to search for a specific location in the string when trying to match a specific pattern. So special sequences tell the regex expression where to look in the string. So let's run through some special sequences. We'll first of all set a variable called sentence and we'll set this equal to double quotes and then we'll put I can't wait to see you at 3 p.m. at symbol the restaurant. So we can pretend this is some form of text message to a friend. So let's say we wanted to check to see if the start of the text message was the word I. So we can set a variable called match and we can set this equal to re.search like we've seen above. And the search method isn't the only method we can use but I utilize it for illustration purposes. Inside parentheses, if I create a raw string and inside single quotes put backslash A, what this means is it will search for the following regex at the start of the string. So if I follow backslash A with the letter I and then pass in the second argument which is the string and we've stored that in the variable sentence. When I print what's stored in match when we run this code cell, you can see that we get a match at index zero because the start of the string does start with the letter I. If I copy and paste this code and then put I space can, once again, we do match. We match the first five characters, starting from index zero up to index five. But if I were to put something that doesn't start with I, so for example, if I copy and paste this code cell and put the letter C, you can see that when I rerun this code cell, we get a none object. So backslash with a capital A will match the start of a string. The next special sequence is backslash B, and backslash B will match if the word begins or ends with the given character. So if I copy and paste two match variables from above and change the first search to be backslash B and then I can, and then the second search to be ANT backslash B, in the first example, we'll check to see if the beginning of the word starts with I can, and in the second example, we're searching to see if the string ends with the letters a and t. So when I run this code cell, you can see that we get two matches. The first match is at index zero because it does start with the word I and can. And the second match starts at index 44 because in the word restaurant, it ends with a n t. So putting backslash b at the start, we'll check to see if the word begins with the given characters. And putting backslash b at the end, we'll check to see if the word ends with the given characters. Now the next special sequence is backslash capital B. And this is simply the opposite of the backslash little b. In other words, the string should not start or should not end with the given regex. So if I copy one line of code from above and change it to read rest backslash b, what this will check for is to see that the string doesn't start with the given regex. So because the final word is restaurant and it doesn't end with REST when I run this code cell, you can see that we get a match which starts at index 37 because it's recognizing that the word does not end in REST. The next special characters are the backslash lowercase d and the backslash uppercase d. And what the backslash little d will do is match any decimal digit, which is basically number zero through to nine. So if I were to put match equals re.search and then pass into a raw string backslash little d and then pass in sentence as the second argument, when I print what's stored in match, you can see that we get a match at index 27, which is the number 3 in 3 p.m. So because the first digit that it came across was the number 3, it therefore matched accordingly. And if I copy and paste this code, and then change the backslash D to a backslash uppercase D, well, the uppercase D matches any non-digit character. So if I now run this code cell, you can see that our first match of a non-digit character is the letter I, which is at the very start of the sentence, at index zero. Our next special sequence is the backslash S, 
And what the backslash S will do is match any white space character. So for example, if I were to put match equals re dot, and then rather than putting search, we put the method find all. In other words, return a list of all occurrences of this expression. In parentheses, we can pass in backslash S, and the second argument will be sentence. Now, when I print what's stored in match, because this matches any non-white space character, you can see that when I run this cell, we simply print out the spaces in between each word. But that might not be very useful for you. What could be quite useful is matching any non-white space character. So if I copy and paste this code and then change the lowercase s to an uppercase s and then rerun this code cell, you can see that we bring back elements which are non-white space characters with each of these characters being a separate element in the list. Now this could be useful for you if you're looking for those non-white space characters, but what could be quite useful is splitting this wherever there is a white space so that the words stick together. And the way we can do this is by combining our special sequence with meta characters. So I'll show you a first example here. If we now copy and paste the above code and put a plus symbol after the backslash capital S, this can now read as search for any non-white space character where there can be one or more occurrences. So it will search for a non-white space character and continue matching until it comes across a white space character. So if I now print this code cell, you can see we print the sentence to the screen in a list format without any of the white space characters. So very similar to using the split method. The next special sequence is the W, so the backslash lowercase w and the backslash uppercase w. The backslash lowercase w will match any alphanumeric character. So this is going to be letters from A to Z, both capitals and lowercase, as well as zero to nine. So if I copy and paste the entire code cell from above and change the lowercase s to a lowercase w, and then run this code cell, you can see that we print the individual alphanumeric characters to the screen. And notice there is one missing. We do not get the at symbol returned because it's not an alphanumeric character. Once again, we can have it so there is one or more match of an alphanumeric character. So if I copy and paste this code and then put a plus symbol after the lowercase w and then rerun this code cell, you can see that we print to the screen each word which does not contain any alphanumeric character. So notice here that we return I as the first element, can as the second, and T as the third. That's because the special character, which was the apostrophe, was recognized after the N, and therefore the T was treated as a separate element. So you need to keep these nuances in mind. The more you practice, the more familiar you'll get with the behaviors of regex. Let's suppose we wanted to match on all of the non-alphanumeric characters, so essentially all of the symbols. If I copy and paste the code line above and change the lowercase w to an uppercase w, and we'll leave the plus symbol there, you can see that we return a list with all non-alphanumeric characters. So this includes the white space. We can see we have the apostrophe at index one, and we also have the at symbol all the way over at index minus two. So the W special sequence will match any alphanumeric character if you put a lowercase w, and it will match any non-alphanumeric character if you put backslash uppercase w. And the final special sequence I want to share with you is backslash uppercase z. And what this will do is match if the string ends with the given regex. So a simple example will be if I put match equals re dot search and in parentheses put the raw string ant backslash capital Z and then pass in sentence as the second argument. When I print to see what's stored in the variable match, you can see that we match at index 44 up to index 47 and we match on the word ant. And that's because the string ends with the given regex that we've supplied. So there you have it, we've just covered some of the special sequences in regular expressions. They can be combined with meta characters to create specific matching criteria. And in the next video, we're going to be looking at the regex module in more detail. So taking a look at some of the methods that we can take advantage of when performing these searches on given regex patterns. So I'll see you in the next video.